Hello guys, my name is Miguel Ordoñez. Today I'm going to speak about the symbol editor. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. The idea of this video is to create a project that will solve the plant explained in the video that will be put in the description. So, first of all, let's open a Cinematic Administrator. In Cinematic Administrator, we're going to create a new project with the project wizard so that it will be easier to, to do it. Here, we're going to select the CPU 313 2DP because this one has uh, already integrated a module for digital inputs and digital outputs. We click next. We select just to have an OV1 as the blocks. We change this to a ladder structure and continue. The name will be Tutorial English, as I do also this video for the Spanish version. And now I click Finish. With this the project is created and look at this. I'm gonna close the other the other ones. Look what I have here. If I go from the first folder in the project tree, I will have the semantic station and the MPI network. If I go to the semantic station I will have the hardware or the CPU. And if I click into the CPU, I have access to the S7 program. In S7 program, I have three folders, which are the source, the blocks, and the symbols. If I click on the symbol table, I get access to this part, in which I can start to create the symbols that will be the variables that are going to be used in the project. As you can now see on the right side of the screen, there there is the plant, which as inputs we will have the first of all the commands of the operator to turn to open or close the valve. So I will call this one start and stop valve. So it's gonna be start the input valve of the sector A or the ingredient A stop the inlet valve of sector A change this and we need to change here the address the address should be as it's the first digital input is 0.0, .0 and this should be E0.1 now uh, when I write a new variable it will automatically give me the next digital address ok, if we continue after the valve we have the pump which should be start pump A stop pump A after the pump we have the feed valve so it should be start and stop commands for the feed valve after these valves we have the flow sensor. The flow sensor is a digital sensor which gives me if there is a flow or not. There are other, other flow sensors which give me a more accurate measure of the flow which uh, at the end is uh, analog input, but in this case it's digital. So the flow sensor of A and now I'm going to start doing the same inputs for the ingredient P. So I start with the inlet valve of 
B. And please pay attention to this. As I explained in the video before, in the previous video, the memory data in the PLC is ordered in bytes. This means that eight bits represents a byte and represents a slot of memory. The digital inputs have been used by whole first byte. It means that byte zero, which goes from 0, 0.0 to 0 0.7, is used. Here are the eight bits. If I create a new variable, it will be addressed in the in the next uh, address of the inputs, which should be 1.0. So if I write my stop in the value b, you see it was automatically set at the e 1.0. Now I will cut the video here and continue when I finish doing all this because it's too many variables. Once all the inputs have been written, we need to start writing the output. For the output, there are going to be so much. For example, we'll have the coil of the bulb, which will be coil, sorry, coil of the bulb A, which now we have to change and set to A 0, 0.0 later we will have also the the feed pump so this will be pump A later we will have the coil of the feed valve A so it will be coil bit A the same for the section B we will have coil of inlet valve B sorry Later we have to go to the agitator, to the mixing section which we have the motor agitator. We will also have the coil of the of the drain valve. And that's it. Please pay attention to something. In the inputs, we will have inputs that goes from E0.0 to E2.3. This means that more than two bytes are going to be used. The whole byte 0 is used, the whole byte 1, sorry, the whole byte 1 is used, and then it's going to be used four more variables. This means that in total we will have 16 variables from the first two bytes and four more variables. As our CPU has integrated only 16 digital inputs, we will have to add more digital inputs to the CPU. If we go now to the hardware, we will see the following. If we click into the digital input module and go to edit symbols, we can see that the symbols has nothing because their address is 124 and 125. To change this, we double click it go to addresses take out the system default and set here 0 
and 0 in order to have the same address that in the table symbols. Now, if I go to edit symbols, look at this. The outputs are already set and the inputs are there. But there are still missing some inputs. For that reason, I will add um, another signal module of digital inputs which will be a 16 digital input module here look that this address starts from 2 if we have the bytes 0 and 1 used the next one should be 2 it's fine now if I open this symbol it already has the variables that were missing With this, you have already used the table, the symbol table, to not only create the variables, but later the hardware configuration to also address these variables into the real PLC. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, but mostly that it has been useful for you. Please don't forget to share, leave your comment, and like the video. Also, I would like to ask something else during this video, and it's to pray for my country, Ecuador, which is having hard times right now. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next occasion.